Hi everybody, I'm here with our second read aloud for the day. Um, it's Duck in the Truck. Duck, truck, rhyme. And it's by Jez Alboro. And I'm looking um, at this and I see that the duck has a license plate on the front of his truck that says Duck One. Um, and then if you look in the back, it shows a sheep inside a Jeep and it shows a goat inside a boat. Um, and those are all things that rhyme. Um, I think I have a book about sheep and jeep. Maybe we'll read that one tomorrow. Um, and somebody wrote in my book, if you can see they scribbled, um, but it says, I wrote Property of Marlene, Kyle, and Matthew Conlisk. So this book is pretty old. Um, this is from when my little boys were little. Um, my daughter wasn't even born yet. So that means she's gonna be 16. So this book is probably like 18 or 19 years old. That's really old. <laughs> um, and here we see, this is the duck driving home in a truck. Do you hear those duck truck? That's rhyming. So I want you to listen for the rhyming words as I'm reading this. This is the track which is taking him back. Track back. Now what about truck and track? Do those rhyme? They do not. They sound similar, but they don't have the same ending sound. It has uck and ack. So truck, track. They sound a lot alike, but they are not rhyming. But truck, duck, and track back rhyme. This is the rock struck by the truck. Ooh, struck truck. Those rhyme. Rock truck does not rhyme though. And this is the muck. Truck muck stuck. Where the truck becomes stuck. So look at that. So he hit the rock and he went flying. Look at his vegetables flying in the air. Falling out of his truck. And there's the muck. Muck is like mud. Um, and now he's stuck. Look how angry he looks. He looks so angry. Now in these pictures, he looks like dismayed or like surprised or a little bit scared at the same time. Like, ah. Okay. These are the feet that jump the duck down into the muck all yucky and brown so i hear down brown and duck muck this is the frog who watches from the bush so see that frog right there he's watching from the bush and croaks i'll help you give it a push did you hear bush push those rhyme but croak push, that doesn't rhyme. So the frog is gonna help the duck get unstuck. This is the push of a frog and a duck. And this is the truck still stuck. Duck truck stuck. Lots of rhyming in this book. This is a sheep driving home in a Jeep. Look at that sheep in the Jeep. They rhyme sheep Jeep. Get out of the way, he yells with a beep. Ooh, beep rhymes too, beep sheep tree, uh, jeep. So he's beeping and the duck says, quack. He's not happy. This is the duck, or this is, this is the quack of an angry duck. I can't, he snaps, my truck is stuck. So he's like, dude, don't beep at me. I can't move. This is the quiet as they think what to do. So now the sheep's going to think what to do because the sheep can't go through. So he's got to help solve the problem. Got it, croaks frog. Sheep can push too. Do too. So the frog says, and I don't know if you saw that picture, but look, he's like jumping up saying, got it.
this is the slurp and squelch and suck as the sheep step slowly through the muck. Suck muck. It was Ryan and Doug. And look, they're all laughing at the sheep because he's got this look like, ew. I don't want to step in that. That happened to Miss Marlene one time. I was um, at a place called the Renaissance Festival and it was rainy and muddy. And I took a step in the mud and my shoes got stuck in the mud, my shoe, and my foot came completely out of it. And there I was standing with one shoe on and one shoe stuck in the mud. And I bet I was making a face like the sheep, like, oh, ew, I don't want to step here. Bet you any money that's what my face looked like. This is the push of a sheep, a frog, and this is the truck. So there's the truck. Now look at the faces of the sheep. You can't really see the frog's face, but you can kind of tell from the picture that he's pushing so hard. And the sheep is closing his eyes and clenching his teeth and the duck is going, ah, and they're pushing so hard. Have you ever pushed something hard like that? This is the happy, sleepy goat relaxing on his motorboat. Goat boat or motorboat. And it's called a motorboat because he's got a little motor. And look, you can see them in the background. This is the ear that hears the shout. Because if you look, it looks like they're looking at him now and they're trying to get his attention. Like the frog is jumping up and down, the sheep is looking and so is the duck so he hears with his ear the shout my truck excuse me my um tongue got a little stuck my truck's in the muck and it won't come out duck saying to the sheep looks like he was waving at him with one of his vegetables i think that's a green onion vegetable i think that's what it's called So this is the rope and here's the goat's plan. So the goat has a plan. What do you think his plan's gonna be? How do you think he's gonna help the get, get the duck out? What do, you, what do you think they're planning? Think about it just for a little, about 30 seconds. I see that he's throwing the rope over there. What do you think they're gonna do with that rope? Let's see. to tie a knot as tight as they can. So look, they're tying a knot and they're pulling it really tight and the goat's telling them what to do. Hmm. I wonder what they're gonna do after they tie that knot. I bet, I bet you have an idea. This is the push at the rear once more. So there they are, the duck is steering and there's the uh, frog and the sheep pushing. This is the pull of the boat leaving shore. So more shore, the rhyming words there. So they've tied the uh, truck onto the rope and the rope is tied to the boat. And now he's gonna take off and they're gonna push. Do you think their plan's gonna work to get the truck unstuck? I wonder. Let's see what happens. These are the wheels. Uh-oh, look, it looks like the sheep and the frog are falling. And the, the, um, <clears throat> the duck looks like he's flying a little bit backwards. So these are the wheels finally gripping. This is the knot suddenly slipping. And they wrote, um, so the knot broke and then look at the goat on his boat. He's flying backwards off his boat. That's not good. So it looks like he, they were pulling, pulling and it was stuck. It was stuck and then it was starting to come out and then the knot broke. Sort of like when you're playing tug of war and you fall backwards. I wonder if that's what happened to them.
this is the truck with the wheels spinning fast. Back on the track, unstuck at last. So fast last. So it shows you like there, the frogs in the mud, uh, the sheep's in the mud, the goats in the mud. The duck is finally getting unstuck in his truck. So their plan did work. I thought it wasn't gonna work for a minute because the rope broke, but nope, it, it seems like it worked. This is the duck driving home in the truck. Leaving the frog, the sheep, and the goat. Uh-oh, he's leaving them behind. What do you think might have happened? Stuck in the muck. And look, this one's all in capitals because they are probably not ha happy. He's like, see ya, thanks for the help. But they're all gross and dirty now and kind of stuck. Their feet are slurping in the mud. So um, what did you think of this book? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Is it two thumbs up, two thumbs down, one of each? Um, I like this book because I think it's funny and I like that it rhymes. You know, Miss Merlin likes to rhyme. Um, and I like that everybody helped each other in this book. So what did you like about the book? Or what didn't you like about the book? Tell somebody at your house. Oh, excuse Miss Farley, she's yawning. And um, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.